Hello everyone, and welcome to another Miniature Monday. I'm Scott, and today I must ask that you avert your eyes, lest you be turned to stone by the gaze of the basilisk. This eight-legged little guy is from Reaper Bones, and honestly is a little cuter than I expected for such a beast. For this paint job, I am aiming to recreate the look from the 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual. With that in mind, we are primed and ready to go. First up is Vallejo's Field Blue. This we are going to be using for the under, less scaly side of the beast. As the paint goes down, it is kind of difficult to see the difference between this and the primer at first. But as the paint dries, it becomes much more apparent. This color is possibly the most important paint that we are going to be using, as we will be mixing it with almost every other color from here forward. This will help to give the whole scheme a uniform look and help us blend the colors together. Next up, we are going to use Vallejo's Light Turquoise mixed with the Field Blue to cover the upper scales down to the legs, the tail, and the face leaving the snout area clean. As we paint the legs, we want to be sure to have a little bit of blending going on with the pure Field Blue that we put down in the first step. Having mixed this with the turquoise, we are going to have an easier time connecting the two tones. After that has dried, we are going to use Vallejo's Burnt Red for the sharpest points of the basilisk's scales. A quick note on this step, at first I painted the tips of all of the scales on the model right down to its legs, but afterwards it looked as though it had some sort of a rash, so I ended up repainting all of the lower scales and chose the highest most points on the model to receive the red tinting. This was just a good reminder that more doesn't necessarily mean better. After the red tone has gone down, there is a pretty severe jump between the two colors. To fix this, we are going to mix the burnt red with a little bit of the field blue, and go over the transition between the two with this new tone. To finish up the layers on the actual creature, we are going to use Army Painter's Monster Brown mixed with a small amount of field blue to touch up the snout as well as the claws and a small amount on the feet. And finally, a quick pass with Army Painter's Darkstone on the base will finish up our layers. Now onto our shading, we are going to hit the whole basilisk with Citadel's Drakenhof Nightshade. And like a fool, I forgot to hit the record button on my camera, so we have missed that oh-so-satisfying moment when the wash goes down. But you can see here how this is tying all of the coloring together in addition to adding some beautiful shadows. Then for the base, we are going to shade using Citadel's Nuln Oil to give those rocks an extra little pop. Now on to our highlighting phase, which I am learning to love more and more, and that's a good thing because this one is going to take a while. We are going to layer over all of the scales with our original mix of turquoise and field blue, and as we progress we will be lightening up our tone just by adding more turquoise into the mix. It is a fairly bright color by itself, and by our last pass it should be all that we are using. Once we are done with the blues, we will do the same process with the reds. Once we get to pure burnt red, we are going to need to brighten that up even more. 
For this, we will be mixing in a bit of Army Painter's Pure Red to make those tips shine. Now it's time to break out Army Painter's Toxic Mist, which we will be using on the lethal eyes of the Basilisk. And finally, we will be using Army Painter's Skeleton Bone on those vicious looking fangs. And with that, our basilisk is ready to create new statues with which to decorate its subterranean den. I really enjoy how the color scheme on this little guy turned out. As always, I had a few nerves when I got started, but the more I paint, the more I find those nerves start to fade away. Also, I find that I really enjoy working on sculpts with repeating patterns, like the scales on this basilisk. You can get into a sort of rhythm when you paint, and it becomes a really calming activity. Thanks for joining me as we worked on this mini today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the Adventurers Pack for more nerdy content. Also, be sure to hit that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as a new video is released. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Scott, and I will see you at the next Miniature Monday.